Uh, I was uh, at home um, and Sam gave me a call about three o'clock um, and I, I sort of had a feeling, I was hoping for a phone call through the day and then when it came through, I was really hoping uh, it was going to be good news and um, and yeah, when he, when he told me, um, I think he was pretty emotional and that got me a bit emotional and uh, yeah, we it's, um, I think we're both just, um, yeah, just, uh, just so happy that um, he finally gets a crack at senior footy, which is great. So. Yeah, there was many missed calls from Steve and Sam, and I sort of thought, well, here we go. Um, I rang Sammy and he had told him the news. So just wrapped, just so exciting. It seems like yesterday, to be honest, that, you know, we'd be watching the Tackers games at eight o'clock in the morning, you know, freezing cold and foggy. Yeah, to think now that he's, you know, went then to Northern Knights, who were also just amazing. And um, and then Carlton, who honestly, you look back now, I think we have been so lucky. It's sort of just almost been a bit fairy tale. We were so, so happy. Um, he got drafted at the start and then um, we always, knew that yeah you know, it could be a, a you know a long journey and we prepared for that um i think once he, he played, i think he played a good game that collingwood um against collingwood in that practice game and then and then i think he sort of kept his form over the last uh, few weeks and um we weren't sort of in a rush we, you know and i don't think sam was either like he's a pretty patient kid and i think we knew we're in for the long haul with the blues and it'll happen when it'll happen and yeah it was pleasantly surprised it's round four it's great Yeah, it means everything. Um, Pre-game, I was just out there um, having a walk around and having a look where we usually sit behind the interchange bench. And yeah, it was a pretty pretty surreal feeling. Obviously, yeah, dad, dad's worked here for I think over 12 years, so uh, it's a big part of uh, my upbringing. And um, yeah, to actually play here for the first time was an awesome feeling. And I, I feel so special that his first game's on the G, you know, at the MCG, so that's pretty special too. My first reaction was, oh, I might put myself down to, you know, to work in some sort of capacity and then maybe sneak out at, uh, you know, during the game. But um, we, we understand what's going on. Uh, we would absolutely love to be there, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Mum and Dad have been awesome. Probably, yeah, couldn't have asked for anything more growing up playing footy and the support they've given me so um, yeah today I think they were pretty nervous with me but they did their best to not really show it so yeah they, they kind of ride the roller coaster with you so yeah they were good today and um, look forward to getting and kind of um, debriefing with them tomorrow yeah. It's funny we've been lucky enough to uh, like as we leave the G we go down to, the, uh, to where I park the car and you know we watch the Richmond players coming down the race and, uh, and I was driving out tonight I saw Carlton, they're in that change rooms where they'll be walking up the race and coming down. So it's a, it's a race that we've watched, you know, our beloved Tigers sort of go up and down a fair bit. And, uh, and it's it's quite uh, surreal watching, you know, knowing that Sam will be running up that race to his first game tomorrow. These guys can keep marking it. They're only going to get better and better. There's the debutante. Sam Philp, we just saw before. Yeah, so probably first quarter, as expected, I was pretty nervous. Um, yeah, probably just had a couple of little fumbles. And this is the first game of Phil. I wasn't too frustrated, but um, yeah, I had Simo and Teague come up to me and um, just some reassuring words, you know, um, just to really take time with the ball. And Great interaction, that, isn't it? It's all right, Sam. You'll be fine. Take a deep breath. Get yourself into the game. And what made you a great player at junior level will hold you in good stead. Such a big occasion, isn't it? Your first game, and it's a dream come true, Richo. And not surprising he had a couple of little fumbles. The positive thing is he got himself into the position to receive a couple of footies. So. Offensive 50, he wants to steer it across the ground. This has got to work. The young boy on debut felt just a little fumble. He's new. After that, I felt like I had a better impact. And um, yeah, I suppose for them to come up to me and um, full of positive feedback um, was yeah exactly what I needed at the time. So it was good. That sideways. And now the other way, they might be out here, the Blues. Oh, well done on that occasion, Phil. You, you don't have to sort of give him advice, you know, you sort of say, you know, go hard, but we know he will. Like, it's just one of the, it's, it's a bit of his trait that he, he always gives, um, yeah, he gives 110% every time he, he sort of goes out in the field. He always has as a junior. So, um, yeah, I think it's more just enjoy the moment. Um, I think just use your strengths. Like, you know, if you can take him on, take him on and, uh, 
and chase and tackle and put the pressure on as you know, I think what the club is really looking for him to do. So um, he just just hopefully just plays his role. Phil. To a one v two, Murphy did well to hold his ground. He's very, um, very, very dedicated. So even through that COVID, which we're still currently going through, it was just constant training. You know, brought the equipment home from the club, and you know I said it before when he was drafted. I think he really deserves everything he gets. I think when uh, Jack Russell gave his program, he no matter what the weather was like, he just wanted to do it to the to the letter. And um, you know, he was in the in the freezing cold pool, you know, just like a big ice bath for him. He'd do that no matter what the conditions. And um, yeah, so I think he's he he's just pretty dedicated like that. And uh, if he even slightly you know doesn't do something in the session, he uh, it eats up at him, I think. And then he has to go out later and make sure he finishes it and to just get it done. It's just so exciting now for him to get get a chance to you know go for a bit of a run now. That was the first game of Phil. We picked that oh, up David. off his toes cleanly. What a great sign that is, young man. He had a couple of nervous fumbles. His first couple of looks at it, but he settled in nicely. Yeah, awesome feeling um, after the game. Yeah, it just shows the belief of the group, I think, to hang on. And um, yeah, I supposed to be in my first game. It's just a good way to start, yeah. Walking down the race, they all said, um, get ready. So for the Gatorade shower. Um, so yeah, that was an awesome feeling. Um, I was sticky and cold for the next probably 25 minutes. Um, but no, it was awesome feeling. Um, felt like I knew the words of the song. Um, so yeah, no, it was um, something I'll never forget. Be, um, I think he bunked with uh, Cripper up at the camp. Uh, look, Sam reckons, you know, Doc and Cripper just amazing leaders. But, you know, I say to him all the time, I said, oh, you know, what's the group like? And he, he hasn't got a bad word to say about anyone. They've been so welcoming. And I think we saw that in the video yes, yesterday when um, when Teague announced that you know, the roar and just the, the, you know, the genuine sort of heartfelt uh, pleasure it gave the boys was um, really special, I think. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, he just loves it there. And I think he, he just loves being around them. So. I think he mentioned Sam Walsh is one that he sort of has followed a little bit just training i think he's got a really good work ethic and i think maybe neville jenner might have said last year or year before when you get if you get to a club find someone that you know you think um is someone that you'd like to be a little bit like so i think sam has mentioned sam walsh a few times which is great probably didn't have the impact i would have liked personally but you know hopefully just it's the start of something for me and i'm not really worried about whether i'm in or out of the side at this day just about constantly getting better that's the feedback i'll get from the coaches so yeah i'll review the game today i'll go and learn learn plenty from that and keep trying to implement um, plenty of things into my game um, and yeah just keep trying to get better every week so that's my kind of main aim for the rest of the year